check that again. <laughs> go back over to Google. Nope. Here we go. Wait, go back to that so we can make sure. Okay. Hey. There we go. And we're live. Welcome back to uh, the PLX Live. Yes. Our third installment of live music and what's ev current events in the Portage Lakes. You are correct. Thank you. What is today's date? 25th. 25th of January, 2017. Music and oh boy. Oh, you're going to get thrown out. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we have a large crowd tonight, which we really enjoy. It is. We want more people to uh, be here and uh, experience this. Big studio audience. We yes. got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like a hundred. Studio audience. Hundred Big round of applause <laughs> for the studio. Nice, nice, nice. Over so, to our right is Jeff, as always. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have tonight on our uh, list, guest list, is uh, uh, Howie's, Eric, Claudia, and their number one bartender, Manager Patrick, welcome y'all. Thanks for having us. Good to have them on. Yes. They brought alcohols. Yes, we are. They will be showing us some uh, craft cocktails later, uh, which I'm excited about. I'm you? pretty excited about it. He's got a big <laughs> bunch of stuff going on over there. That's yes, sure. really nice stuff. And uh, Joel, who did you invite? I invited Mr. Dave Gravy Felton of Crea Diaz and Mushroom Head, guitar player, uh, and Joe Husack. He's a local guy. Has a recording studio, the Wednesday Room. Good dudes. I've known them for a while. So they're going to talk about uh, you know, the recording of the most recent Korea Diaz album and the process a little bit. And uh, recording, live music, uh, what Dave's been up to recently, some custom guitar stuff. And so pretty excited. Sounds like an awesome event. Yes. Yes. Good night. Uh, yes, it is. I'm more nervous now. Are you? Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, because I didn't have my coffee out of my new coffee mug. Yes, <laughs> yes the PLX Live yeah. coffee mugs. We're gonna yes. get. <laughs> we're gonna get it logos on here eventually. Our logo. We don't. It's not really a logo, but it's good enough. Whatever. So anyway. <laughs> Just write it on with a sharpie. Thing. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Did you gave away our trade secrets? Dave Felton's on. You didn't think about that before the you turned the We just around? got them today. Uh, the real question is why is it only half full? Well, because like I drank so the other much hand. more coffee I, into that. Well, I don't want to. It's it's late, and I don't want to get all hyped up before I go to bed. You know, so. Well said, Joel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, no, it's uh, our first guest tonight, and I don't know. We're going to talk about events at the end of the show. What's happening around the lakes? Um, and uh, but I'd like to talk about Howie's because that's our big sponsor tonight. Thank you for uh, very much for coming on the show. Thanks and for us. Yes, um, there's a lot of good stuff happening down there. Um, so uh, at this time, would you like to bring Eric and Claudia? On? Yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't, is Eric going to come on? Eric, I'll are you going to be I'll on the show? Her rock this out. Okay, then Claudia will take my place, and then you can talk to Claudia. Okay, awesome. Okay, Great. come on up here. I'm going to take my coffee mug. <laughs> Joel, you need your glasses? I might. I'll take these. And a, and a pretzel. We got new pretzels. Yes, this episode has been brought to you by a new pretzel sponsor, which is Whiskey Sticks. If you can see this. We've all had that. Yeah. Like <laughs> um, which is, uh, read that for me. What does it say? Where am I reading? Right there, top line. You Doe Girl LLC. And you Doe Girl LLC. It's it, on Kent Road in Salem, Ohio. There you go. It's a local product. So try it's very it, please. Good. All right. So, Claudia. Yes, Robert. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. We're excited to be here. Good. We are excited to have you. Awesome. Okay. And. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, what are, what are you doing here tonight? Um, well, you guys invited us. <laughs> no, I know, but what what are you gonna do on the show? <laughs> uh, we actually are really excited. We're trying to um, increase the amount of craft cocktails that we have and craft beers. So we actually brought our um, bartender manager Patrick with us tonight. So he's gonna show you some of his new concoctions he made up. Um, he even made me make chocolate covered strawberries for him to garnish nice. with. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're really excited. Will we get to try the strawberries? If you're good. 
Well, I'm out. <laughs> that's if I don't. That's so, if I don't eat them all, Rob. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know. I've been made three drinks, and people keep taking them. <clears throat> Jen. <laughs> now, does this go along with the uh, new chef you have? Yeah, so we're very excited. Um, in December, we actually brought in Chef Dick from Chop and Swizzle. So we're very excited. He took over our kitchen, and he's created new menu, new specials, um, doing a lot of fun stuff with the food. So we're just working hand-in-hand -hand with him to kind of pair our food and our drinks okay. with what they're doing. Are you still doing uh, specials throughout the week? Yes. We are. And what so, are those specials? On Tuesdays, we, <laughs> on Tuesdays we do $2 tacos. Um, you get your choice of five different things. We have pork, beef, chicken, vegetarian, and fish, which is my favorite. It's really good. Awesome. On Wednesdays, we're still, still doing our steak by the lake. Um, you can come in and get a 12-ounce um, local hand-cut um, strip steak. That Who's cutting that steak? Chef Dick is cutting okay. them himself. I just want to make sure phenomenal. it wasn't Eric. That's no, all. No, no. He's not allowed in the kitchen. <laughs> he's, he's, he's totally inappropriate. Okay. Um, and it's served with his um, famous sour cream mashed potatoes and a salad and a vegetable. It's, the vegetables new this uh, week, we isn't it? We just added it this week, yes. yes. So today was... Asparagus. Ooh, yeah, no so one, asparagus. Yeah, that's good. So all the um, all of his products are um, fresh and local, so it's really good. Nice, nice. And then Thursdays we just started um, two weeks ago, craft burger and craft beer night. Okay. So he has made select craft burgers that are half pound burgers. They're gigantic. Um, they're amazing. And then every Thursday we will feature new craft beers. Okay. And then the first Thursday of every month we'll be bringing in breweries to take over our taps. So we nice. did one a couple weeks ago with Millersburg Brewery, and our next one is with Sam Adams. And that um, is tomorrow. No, next no? Thursday. Oh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Craft Burger Craft Beer Night, too, but we're going to just feature okay. some new craft beers on draft. I'm slow, so slow so down the first, and, you know, I'll catch up. The first <laughs> Thursday okay. of every month, okay. we will bring in a new brewery <laughs> to take over our tap. I got it. So right. the first Thursday of February, Sam Adams is taking over. Okay. And then just to give you a heads up, the first Thursday of March Whatever. is Columbus Brewery, correct? Yes. Yes. Columbus. Nice. <laughs> Trying to remember all of them. So we're excited to be working with a lot of local breweries um, and bringing them in, okay. keeping it local. And the whole, whole thing about if you don't like beer, because that's what we've been talking about, that's why Patrick is here. Correct. And he's going to... Mix us up some drinks. Of course, I am going to be doing that, Rob. All right, uh, Joel, could you please put Patrick <clears throat> on camera so we can see this <laughs> young, <laughs> strapping young lad? Spin this around, <laughs> Rob. You let me know. He is you. available, ladies. No, no, up, no. Up, up, up. He's got a Kelly. Up a little more. <laughs> up a little more. <laughs> All right, you, you guys are going to get out of trouble. We did have two cameras Nailed working, but totally not on, so we're just having yes. one. So sorry. But we, we feel the audio and the camera are much better than our first two episodes. So bear with us, folks. Until our next episode. All right. So um, the first cocktail I'm going to be preparing for you guys, actually, we're going to be doing our Moscow Mule, which we just recently started featuring here at Howie's. Uh, they're served here in our copper mugs. Uh, we have different variations of Moscow Mules. We can do cranberry mules, bourbon mules, mandarin mules, uh, your classic... Um, uh, mule is usually just uh, vodka, lime juice, and ginger beer, so I'm going to be going ahead and making that here for you guys. Can I ask why they call it a mule? Um, that's actually a good question, Rob. I don't really know. Because it kicks? Probably. You might be paying for it the next morning. Thank you. All right. <laughs> that's where I need the drink. <laughs> And we do use Absolute for all of our meals. <laughs> right? I need some like background music or something. I'm looking for something. Shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. Now, is this your second time? Uh, I wish. I've watched Cocktail a couple times, and I'll tell you what, I could not do or even attempt half the stuff that they do on that show. I tried once or twice. I think Claudia yelled at me. Um, I started I spilling liquor everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Usually water somewhere uh, for practice, but... 
Who's going to try the first cocktail? I tried the first cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On camera. Jennifer. Let's say who wants the first one? <laughs> Jennifer. You want to come on camera and try a new one, Jennifer? No. So this is our <laughs> Moscow Mule. Just sat down. Well, Here, someone's got to drink. Somebody's got to drink it. Here we go. Joel, would you this partake? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a sip. Spent all that time making that. And then uh, one of our other cocktails that we've got, uh, actually it's currently on our uh, Monday martini list, is our chocolate strawberry martini, which we're going to have on special, featured on Valentine's Day coming up. Uh, Anti-Valentine's Day. Or anti-Valentine's Day, sorry. So all the single folks that don't have a date, come on out to Howie's. We'll have uh, drinks ready for you. Like a dating game type of thing? No, we're doing an anti-date. <laughs> okay, anti yeah. No, yeah. Anti-Valentine's Day. Anti-Valentine's Day. Yeah. So you can come. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. <laughs> Same practice day, which we will get to. We do have another cocktail that involves Jameson that we'll be showing here in just a little bit. So who doesn't like Jamo? Oh, Jamo will Patrick deliver that cocktail? Yes, and a string for you. Nice. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I say that costs extra. What do you mean? <laughs> the tips. Just the tips. <laughs> what is that, Patrick? That is chocolate Godiva liqueur. Oh, I'll come on camera for that. Mm -hmm. That looks fantastic. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gotcha. Shake it up. We have requests for pictures of this cocktail, so oh, okay. we can grab a Photos. picture before we drink it. Photos. Wait, I think I, 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 uh, we have a photographer here. Is that Nestle's? Yes. Right. Sure. Oh, easy. Uh, oh, yeah. Just around the rim. <laughs> <laughs> we get that actually quite often. This is PG-13. Right? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. That is our chocolate strawberry martini. So we will have these on special uh, for anti Valentine's Day. I think that's I think that's Jess's actually. Claudia, did you get the shots? Did you get a picture of it? They got two pictures. Okay, cool. Okay, moving on to our next drink, actually with uh, St. Patrick's Day or our. Um, St. Practice Day that's going to be coming up. We have a Jameson cocktail uh, that is two parts Jameson and one part coffee liqueur, dash of bitters, and a uh, twist of fresh orange. So I'm going to go ahead and make that for you now. And when is that St. Uh, practice Day? It's on February 18th. It's actually the same day as a polar bear jump. Mm -hmm. I heard you are jumping with us, Rob. Are you jumping, Rob? Yeah, Rob's yes. jumping. Yes. You heard it here. I was conned. I was conned <laughs> by the owner of Howie's <laughs> to jump in the lake. <laughs> Aren't you jumping, Jeff? I've been told to go jump in the lake many Jeff a time. Jeff said he was jumping, too. I will be there for moral support. That was always by the bartender for Howie's. I'm the owner. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, yes, every this is our fourth annual St. Practice Day. So what we do is obviously it's a, it's a month out from the real St. Patrick's Day. So we practice first so everybody can get their feet wet a little bit. Make it but perfect. But we go exactly practice makes perfect. 
But we will go all out. The whole bar will be decorated like it's St. Patrick's Day. We'll have green beer. We're going to have special St. Patrick's Day cocktails. We will have giveaways. <clears throat> all of our reps are already bringing us St. Patrick's Day giveaways, t-shirts, beads, all that good stuff. And then the most exciting part of St. Practice Day, we will have the most amazing band there. What? Jeff, Who's do you that? know anything about Live that? Live entertainment. Who's Live the band? Live entertainment that night, too. I don't know, Jeff, do you know anything about that? I just learned right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So Interwoven will be bringing some entertainment for you in the evening if anybody's still standing <laughs> in, in a lab. We'll probably yeah. start around 9 o'clock, play or whatever. Until the neighbors so, call. That's this month. <laughs> that is February 18th. Oh, good. February 18th. St. Practice Day will start around 6 p.m. And um, Chef Probably Dick will two. have some specials as well. And then obviously Interwoven will be jamming out at 9. It's an all day affair. Corned beef it's and cabbage. Yeah, it's I'm Chef Dick. Well, Chef Dick, will we have corned beef and cabbage? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there will. Yeah, I already talked about it. There will be a, a special menu out for that day. So Good. All right. All right, what do, you, what do you got here? And so this is our Irish Gold. This is the Jameson drink that I just told you guys about, and this is what we'll have on special along with uh, a couple other drinks for you guys on St. Patrick's Day. That's, that's my favorite, man. It's all there. Jameson? That's Jameson coffee liqueur, bitters, and fresh orange. It smells delicious. This martini is unbelievable, by the way. It's like Good. Wesley's quick. Oh, it's so good. It's dangerous. The strawberry Ooh. comes through nice. Silly. That is great. So nice. Woo-woo. So nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Patrick, you're a genius. Hey, pass that around. That's really good. All right, and then for our final pass drink, we just wanted to feature around. something oh, that no um, is, is new to our cocktail list. Uh, it's going to be a feature here in the summertime. It's called our Howie Summertime Lemonade. It's a combination of uh, citrus vodka, strawberry vodka, some lemonade, and daiquiri mix. So I'm going to go ahead and make that up for you guys. Just pass the drinks to <laughs> <laughs> Joel's got his eyes set on this one. Okay. He's holding out. So I don't want to drink it. I just want to. Alright, talk us through it. Like what do you got? What are you, what are you throwing in there? So okay. this is, I just put the lemonade in. I'm going to add a little bit of daiquiri mix, which is going to kind of give it that strawberry summertime feel. I'll take it. Summertime. Uh, we have strawberry vodka and absolute citron that goes in there. So yeah. it's like I said, it's a summertime lemonade. It's uh, lemonade and strawberry. So. All right. That sounded kind of that sounded kind of tribal. I like it. Dude. You got like some Hawaiian fruity thing. <laughs> <laughs> we should have Lay's and the whole deal. Oh, we should. I was just gonna say. Tiny bubbles. <laughs> Garnished. Garnished. You got to. A little green mint. A little mint leaf, yeah. What? We will. What? Yeah. And, and that is our Howie's Summertime Lemonade. Mm, that looks mm, phenomenal. Mm. Here, let's get a close-up of that boy. Oh, yeah. I didn't get to try it. Oh, well, I know. I stole it from you. Is it spilling? Don't spill it. That's a mortal sin. We need pictures. We need pictures. Oh, photos. Photos. Photos first. <laughs> Per Claudia. The longer it melts, the more I do what I'm still. told. I promised the viewers pictures. I'm sorry. Doing too much. We rolled it up right there. Claudia's already chosen the show. Who wanted this? You wanted this, didn't you? Too much in this cup. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try this. Yeah, thanks. Dive right in. All right. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys, to PLX Live. My name's Pat. Um, we had a blast mixing up for you guys. I think we're going to go ahead and...
Uh, come visit us at uh, Howie's on the Lake right off Coleman Drive, guys. Yeah. 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 Nice. Slinging drinks. Nice. Slinging drinks. Switch, uh, switch angle around. Camera angle. I'm a little yep. camera shy. Yeah. Anybody Rob, you did? Rob loves <laughs> being on camera so much. Yes. It's no? good, isn't it? I mean, this is this is amazing. All right, folks. It's, isn't it good? <laughs> We're gonna um. That was a lot better. Wait, uh, move it up. It's too low. Up, yeah. up, 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 up. It's got like a tart. There you go. There you go. Yeah, okay. A little, little bit higher, probably. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Sorry about all this. That's perfect. All right, folks. We're still working on all the technical yeah. things, but we hope all the sound and the video is a lot better than the first two episodes. I, we think it is. It looks great. Um, That's not bad. Uh, Why Pat is uh, clean up over there, and we're going to get the band set up here in a second um, to uh, play a little uh, music. Well, all right. Dave's going to. Fiddle around a little He's bit. gonna fiddle then around. Maybe. Yeah, these yeah. guys are gonna fiddle. sit here. We're gonna have them just sit here. Kind okay. Of change of plans. Or That's whatever. fine. That way you guys can and Patrick can do his tear down. He's in no hurry or whatever. And, and we have no set list here. We we're, no. we're on the no, fly. He's he making drinks. He could make I me could, a drink. Sweet. Yeah, you don't have to tear There's it down, dude. He's gonna have to make another one of these because if anyone else wants it, this. Is yeah, I still haven't had. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Well, what we have going? Howie's has got a whole bunch of new merch. And a dice. Plethora, a <laughs> <laughs> a cornucopia, what? actually, <laughs> of <laughs> items now available. Okay, the lovely Claudia has been working diligently yes. at making these. And the first one I have is Eric Singlet from when he was a wrestler <laughs> <laughs> at St. V's. Okay. I went to Hobbit, man. Come on. Either way. Ooh. Either way, Jeff don't like either one. So <laughs> we'll leave it at that. But as you see that, that's. Something available there. I'm gonna hand yeah, these. Yeah, I broke the out the tank tops early this year because everybody kept asking for them. So we, we have be three ready different, for four different styles of tank tops. I only have three here. But they're only ten dollars right now. So come and get them. Nice, nice. Right there. This, this is the one. This, one. this, this, is, this is the hot good. one that the Ooh, both ladies, sure all the ladies, love this. That's our, that's our is, that, is that unisex? No, it's a female one. It's a unicorn. <laughs> it could be. It's a unicorn. I guess it okay. could be. I'm sure Sweet. it's Rob's Sweet. favorite. I think you'll probably Rob see him glass. in it. <laughs> you don't want to see me in tank top. Right. Probably not. All right. Long <laughs> sleeve. Okay. And then we have this is how we do it at Howie's. Nice. nice. Like right nice. there. Carry All right. Size. What size? We have lots Make of sizes. Sense. We have Nick. 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 Yes. Nick. Um, <laughs> what's nice is we're actually making these ourselves. And when I say we, I mean me. And me. And Eric just watches. Eric watches. <laughs> uh, so you don't we have to can, tell us that. <laughs> and this is a nice hoodie. So we can actually shirt. order any size or color that you want. I don't. So we have a lot of flexibility Put a now. In. So just let us know, Special and we can orders. order them for you. And uh, you do have some hats there. I saw earlier. I do. I don't have Howie's hats yet. Those are coming. Those I cannot make. Um, but I brought some Sweetwater hats to give away. Sweetwater was well, our beer of the summer. One. You're welcome. <laughs> Hat. So we yes. have lots of sweet water. We actually on, have sweet water IPA, but for those of you that weren't around this summer, we actually have a huge sweet water mural that was painted on our building. It looks nice. Um, so they work really well with us, and they gave us a couple of hats, so I brought them. Um, I think we're going to give away all of this stuff tonight. Yes. Except maybe we're gonna the striped do our best. one. We might have Jen and Jess wrestle over it. Auction. Oh, I'll pay Jess off for that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna, what we're going to do... Yeah, what we're going to do wrestling. is we're, um, oh, we how we's, oh, I'm sorry, the totes. We have more stuff. Wait. More stuff. We actually have different tote bags, too. And we have all different colors. We have black and blue and orange and I don't know what else. But this is not QVC. It's I'm not just saying QVC. right now, this is not QVC. Okay. We're giving them all away, nice. though. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you saw Patrick's shirt, too. Show, so. Yeah, these are all giveaways, but Patrick okay. had a shirt on. You probably noticed, too. And by the way... We didn't mention, Patrick mentioned it real fast, but if you want to see Patrick and come on Mondays, we have a huge martini cocktail list. You can come and get cocktails for only $5. Is that uh, like happy hour or is that all day? All day. And Actually, all night? from 3 to 6, they're a dollar off. Yes. Okay. And you're open till? We're open Monday through, why are you shaking your finger? <laughs> uh, one, we're open 3 to 1 on Mondays. Yes. 3 to 1. Ish. Ish. 3 to 1-ish. No. 
Is that we 3 open at 3 o'clock. We open at 3 p.m. It's nightlife on the way. It turns into a club, actually. Oh, it's an after hours joint. Okay. Yeah, Claudia's getting no. a stripper pole put in. I think we I might have to do that. We close at 1. Okay. <laughs> We sorry, open at 3 sorry. p.m. every day, Monday through Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we open at 11 a.m. And then we're open um, during the week. It kind of depends if um, it could be between 11 and 1. We never kick anybody out. I debate until that. One. Until I one. debate <laughs> that. <laughs> you're a different story. When you're out of control, we have to kick you out. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Yes. But come see Patrick on Mondays. I clean the damn bar, okay? <laughs> you do. You are a big help. Okay. You need to refill the, the, the hand towels. Yes. You just don't worry. You worry about okay. your own <laughs> hand towels. Fine. <laughs> hey, okay. They have good band aids. Okay. Now. What we're gonna do right I now? I meant to bring you some jewelry. I picked some up special. Oh, we have for a question. We have a caller. Really we have a caller. Yes. Caller. Caller Ryan says, "Do I win a prize for knowing the actual original Howie?" No. Prove it. Move on. Ask an answer. <laughs> 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 we need a little proof for that one. Yes. Does anyone know his name, he says? Um, no idea. I bet he's not right. I bet he's not right either. So, anyhow, what we're going to do is Howie's <laughs> is going to uh, give away some merch. Yeah. Okay. Let's but do it. there's a little catch to it. Okay. <laughs> and that catch is um, we have a little trivia question because, because. on Tuesdays, what do you have? We have always? live trivia every Tuesday, yeah. presented by Sporkle at 8.30 and 9.30. It's free to play, and you can win cash. Cash? Cash prizes, I know. It, do crazy. I have to pay to play? No, it's free, Rob. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What's the name of that team that always wins? Yes. What team is that? I don't know. This is a setup. <laughs> this is all rigged. Cosby's Kool-Aid. I'm walking out. <laughs> is it okay. Is it the Foo Fighters? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> two uh, Plug in for the two best out of team. three. Two out of three. I'll give you that. Two out of three. <laughs> Come try to yes. beat them. Come try to beat them. Yes. It's a challenge. It's on. All comers. All comers. In okay. trivia, there's all so, different categories. Hey, People Michael always think you they're not going to know anything. Right. Yeah. It's all over the place. Very so eclectic. I even know some Very eclectic. Way too much wow. hockey. <laughs> yes. Too much hockey, but... That's another story. Anyhow, we're going to ask a question here, and the first ten people that send sends a response by text across Facebook will win some free merch. Right? Perfect. Our response are the right one. <laughs> the correct. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> they have to they have to correctly comment the correct answer in the in, in the, the feed. The comment yes. feed. Yes. All right. Okay. Cool. Say that again. They have to correctly have to comment. comment correctly in the comment feed. Thank you, Joel. Okay. In the live feed. Look at the strawberries. <laughs> yeah, okay, and here's the question. Name what Joe Walsh's away? first band made famous at JB's in Kent. Ooh, good question. Good question. I don't know. It's only going to be one question, and the first oh. ten people to get it correct. First person. Everybody First well, anybody, if you go to Kent, if you, if you go to Kent State, <laughs> there's been to go Google. To Google. Google. And I ask that question because it's a local musician, uh, and he's now world famous. So it's somebody that started made his uh, bones in Kent, Ohio. It's a good segue. Thank you. Yes. No, no clue. Use your sure Google. Uh, there is no the clue. Google. I no thought clue. that was no. plain no. enough no. and should be easy and enough. And we have one answer. And the answer, the answer is? is? James Gang. By? Who, who, who was it? Huh? Who answered? Oh, Jen. Jen? Keenan. Thank you, Jen Keenan. Jen Keenan. Got a winner. Got a winner. Does she have a choice of what she would like? Winner number two. <laughs> Ryan Michael. Ryan Michael. Rigged. Yeah, but once then people Ryan see Mulrick. the answer, they can yeah. make that. Yeah. All right. No, I, I, that's, yeah, you're right. So just the first person. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't change it now, can I? I mean, I feel like I'm... New contest. Winner. No. <laughs> well, it's kind of cheating. Once one person comments, yeah. they all know. That's all right. That's all right. It's all right. It's all yes. good. It's all good because this is all... We want more people wearing Howie's, Howie's merchandise everywhere, right? Everywhere. And we're going to come up with some new stuff with Chef Dick, too. I think a good idea for one of your new designs is a road map. On how to get how the to Howies, get to Howies on by the road. It's a great idea. It's a great you know? idea. That is perfect right there <laughs> we on can the back. Yes. Nick. I like it. <laughs> awesome. All right. I'm full of a lot of shit. Yes, you are. We already know that. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Are we uh, ready to do a segue? Yeah. Music time. Music time. Yeah, music. Let's Party on. <laughs> I'm ready to sing. Let's go. All right. <laughs> We're going to leave the shot here, and um, our musician is going to come in. Anybody need a cocktail? We a couple guys here. A couple guys. A couple guys. I can get all fancy dancing on that, but I don't need to. Thank you, everyone. Do you want to sit there so it's like far away from me? What are we, uh, what are we doing? Just have a seat. I'm not even going to get to that till I don't even know what size it is. It's my size. There's Joe. Hello. Hello. Bring it. Joe Hughes, Zach. You can hold a wire. Joel, what do you think of that Howie Summertime Lemonade? Dude, this is seriously one of the best drinks I've ever had in my life. Awesome. I'm going to come back and get plenty of it. My buddy built it just for us. Uh-oh. Dave just bought it. It's a gallon size. I would like to buy a gallon of it. It's a Rory Gallagher fat strap. Oh, Rory Gallagher. Yeah, I like it. You don't make a very good window. He's the Irish blues rock guy. You know, right? I got the shirt. I seen him open for uh, Rush. I kind of seen him back in on the movie pictures tour. Can you see anything, Joe? All right, guys, What's we're that? live still. So we're, yeah, we're live. Yeah. Get moving here. Dave's I, I'm Dave's getting like, naked. I'm ready to go. Where are we are we, we got shadows. <laughs> no, it's all good. Dave's getting naked in front of the camera. Yeah. There you go. Just leave the pants on. That's all we ask. I'm just. It is hot. It's hot in here. It is. <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna sit here. Was easy. Do you want to sit over here? I'm gonna. I'm gonna wants to sit over there. Well, how about that? Do you want to try to angle the camera we this can. way so Dave can sure. sit there and then you and me can sit here? Sure. Yeah, yeah let's perfect. see if we... Want me to noodle around with that while you guys... I'll noodle around with that while you Why guys you are... Uh, okay. Well, if... if uh, you can talk about the studio. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll just turn it down. I'm good. Hang on, watch this fanciness. Uh, yeah, just yeah. Uh, bear with us while Stand we by. move the studio to a new location. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Okay, down this the is road. Live one take. This is where it's at, man. <laughs> we need an actual, Anything can an happen AV person. We need an AV person that's just like controlling everything from back there. I don't go that way. <laughs> you don't go AV? This is my way. So we're getting What's Dave Phillips set up on an okay. electric <laughs> guitar. <laughs> No, As in, Rob in and okay. Joe he's discuss in something in totally place. dumb. Well, okay, I'll just sit by myself on camera. You, you don't want your show to be just me. Joe, you're on not on camera. So forget oh, about it. Can they hear us? The password oh. is. Oh. So it's like radio now. Yes, Gravy. Gotcha. This is, uh, radio yes. free. Europe. Hello, Radio Land. Hi, Facebook. Go to Howie's. So, so we want to move this. That would be the idea if we can, yeah, quickly. <laughs> Once we go back, we'll just have to. I don't know. It's weird, but it's, it might be. It might get us all. Let's see what. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Patrick, cheers. Cheers, brother. There you go. No, that's thinking on your feet, Joel. That's thinking on your feet. That's why you are the host. That's why I'm on my feet. I'm going to lay down <laughs> here a little bit. Okay, hang on a second. Uh-oh. Now we're back to camera one. Hey, there we go. Nice. Look, we're back. That's not. Uh oh. That's not. No. Nope. Oh, no, that's uh, the other way. Back towards the Dave. Other way, the other way. Back yeah, towards yeah, yeah. Dave. No, the other way. Uh, that way. The the opposite way. That yeah. way. And then up. <laughs> up. 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 Uh, up. Up. Watch this. Oh. Go back over there. Here, watch this. See that? And get right. Okay, in now the shot. go back this way and up. It's that easy. Yeah. See how easy up. that is. Up. <laughs> up. <laughs> play a play a silly sound like a silly sound. It, uh, up more, Joe. Boy, up. <laughs> up. That's good. There you go. 
Joe, I bet you're having a bad hair day like myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, there goes Dave in front of the camera again. It's getting, oh, long. God. it's getting long. I need a haircut. <laughs> I'm going to have a pretzel. Joel. Okay. We're good. Hey, who makes those pretzels? You can probably come up a hair. We're professionals. Joel. For pretzels. Joel. Who's, who's the pretzel sponsor t- uh, this week? I can't. Whiskey sticks. The uh, Irish Fisherman's Association. Who's the uh, company that makes them? <laughs> no, I can't see it. You dough girl. You dough girl? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> They're good dough pretzels. Girl. Can you Dave, you can pull that mic a little closer to you if you want. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Sounds good. Touch it. It'll sound fine. It won't make any noise or anything. Maybe we should give him a house. You probably should. All right. So, <laughs> so anyway, Back Rob, get just sit down. Go have a cigarette or something. Rob. So we're here with Joe, Hugh, Zach, yes. and Dave, Gravy, oh. Felton. We're going to talk about some music. Joe's studio, music. Uh, the Wednesday room, is. Close. We're not yes, going to yes. tell you where that's at. No, it's in the uh, the lakes area, though. Everything's private. <laughs> <laughs> you get a good close up of that. <laughs> Here he goes. A little dark. A little dark. <laughs> I gotta have another one of these pretzels. <laughs> Ready so anyway, and begin. <laughs> Are we live? Tell us a little bit about, about yourselves. Well, uh, that's a loaded question. What? Uh, <laughs> It is kind of. Yeah, so let's narrow it down. What about either one of us would you like to know? Well, what brings you here first? Uh, the PLX We're Live. Gonna, yeah. Right, I'm going to make this easy for everybody. All right, good. All right. <coughs> Get to the point. Jeez. I started a new band several moments ago. Several years ago. That's what I mean. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> Needed some recording done. All right. My buddy Brian Tremblay... Worked with this guy at SIT Strings. Correct. <clears throat> Hand me off a demo a of his old band that he recorded himself at his studio. Joseph. Yes, that is correct. That band so, was uh, Red Sky Morning. That was an old uh, metal band I was in. Yeah, it was great. Great band. But the, I was like blown away by the how the CD sounded. Because I'm kind of an old school purist. You know, I like the old tape. I like... You know, bands that can go in and play without having a bunch of, you know, computer right. nonsense to fix everything. Sure. You know, if if you can't play, you can't play. Right. You know, so I heard Joe CD. I could tell that it was done digitally, but it had a really cool organic vibe to it, and I'm like, that's awesome. We're going there. That's cool. You know, so yeah. I talked to him on the phone, <clears throat> and um. I mean, we had a really good, long conversation about the whole recording process and everything, and he's kind of an old-school purist as well, but being a younger dude, it's all digital now. Sure. So he's doing all the cool, like, old-school techniques with, like, a modern-type, you know, version of recording. Instead of having tape and all that stuff, it's... It's, I remember, I remember the very first conversation that we had. I was in my driveway, and we were about to have Red Sky Morning practice. And I think we, we, I mean, if you, if you know Dave, you know, a conversation on the phone can last a while sometimes. So I think we, uh, I was just like out there, like everyone was in there like getting ready. And I was just on the phone with her for like 20 minutes or a half hour. And we were just talking and like right off the bat, we shared a lot of, um, you know, kind of the same vision of strip it down. And, you know, I was kind of at the time getting a little further away from what metal was going to like metal was kind of turning into cookie cutter you know stuff right you know and a lot of bands are doing it a certain way to get a certain sound yeah, as soon I as always, one band does it a certain way everyone and it, has and it to works do it for them and everybody suit. seems like sure. they want to do that and, same. And with a recipe every, there with and every band so. i i try to like throw that out the window and i kind of do it my way like That's because awesome. i didn't go to school for it or anything i learned by getting microphones. And my dad actually uh, owned a recording studio in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. So we had like some studio gear left over from that, and but a lot of it was kind of old and dusty. So I, I just used a lot, like some microphones and an audio interface, kind of what we're doing here, right. but like with eight inputs at a time and somewhat sophisticated mixing software, mm-hmm. which at the time, when did we record that? It was. A while ago, three or four years ago, I think. No, but about it, six. <laughs> it six feels seven, like it. But but it was like 2012, 2011. But at at the time, like I was still learning a lot of the 
the things that I wanted to try with them. So they were really guinea pigs. Like, and it 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 worked out really well. Like the final product, you know, turned out kind of I think what we envisioned. It was just pretty raw, and you know, Dave always liked the violence of metal and like you know. Pan, bands like Pantera and and even like some death metal bands have this like scratchy sound where some people are are you know turned off by it. Other people's really other people really love it, mm-hmm. and it's but it kind of goes back to some eighties recording though too, because right. because like like early Metallica and old Van Halen, there's like there's like a bigness to that sound. Totally. Well, and yeah. they would they would and but see and and not to cut you off, but I I always go back to. Like they have big, like the Beatles. Like Ringo has a bigger sounding drum set with like one or two microphones than than like Yes did in the in the seventies, and they had like a gazillion mics on their kit. Right. Well, they recorded in a really dry room, and that's there's you know there's something to to be you know I guess heard or said or whatever word you want to use, but there's something special about the right room and the right person and the right band I believe and, it. and when we got Dave and, and Emery to come up that's I, I told Dave I said you know probably the best idea I think we, we, we were pretty much eye to eye on the whole thing like the whole time like we wanted him to play with Emery so that we would get a live feel for the drums and if the the room that we recorded in is is not much bigger than this, probably the ceilings aren't even this tall, mm-hmm. but it's got all you know barn siding on it and ceramic tile floor, so mm-hmm. it's a nice. It's got a nice you know my dad you get built, real good live sound, yeah, right. and, real true, That's and cool. really good. You know I live with my I live with my dad, and it's like he he built the house in the uh, well probably late probably late seventies, mm-hmm. and. Um, that's where you know my life is it's like i grew up in the lakes and 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 everything is here so i yeah. you know i'm not it's like this is where i live it's i love it here i uh, my grandparents i grew up right down the road you know back and forth between here and 5 minutes away from here and it's like this it, it's it's cool to have you know uh and a someone who's done it and gone on the road mm-hmm. give me a chance and i i don't know if i ever really thanked them you know properly for that but but he i'll do it later but but um My uh, camera's off right right but um no it, it's you know dave really took a chance and you know it didn't get a whole lot i mean didn't it's it's you have to be able to pull it off and if anyone could do it it was creative so right. i'm glad that you know you know they were able to and, I, and i'm really looking forward hopefully to doing the next one with them too because all that stuff that I took out of that, the making of that album, I applied to future projects, which I don't record very often. I'm not like a public studio or anything. This is all a facade. It's all just a you know bull crap name. But but it's 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 really just a house that I record in, and and you know I, I you know do some friends bands every now and then, and, yeah. and everything I learned from that recording, you know, has been applied to. The very much kiss style, you know, keep keep it simple, stupid, mm-hmm. just like yep. as simple as possible, you know. And I always go into a recording with the thought, can this be done on an analog tape deck? And if so, how easily could it be done? And if it's easily done or within reason to be done on an analog tape deck, then you know I do it. But if it's something that I have to rely on a computer to do, I try to leave that out and figure out a way to perform it. And you know. So that's kind of where, you know, I, I like, I've, I've gone and I gave you, I'm, I gave you a, I have a CD for you too. I actually do some solo stuff too. Right. Yep. That's quite different, pretty much the exact 180 of Creed Diaz. But I like working more so than performing and writing. I, I like performing, but writing kind of sucks because everyone's writing something and it all is kind of getting in this big pool of stuff and everything's kind of sounding the same now, yeah. but I still like performing. And what I like the most is getting together with a band or a group of people or even one or two people mm-hmm. and w- chipping away at the vision of something that you have a vision of and you're proud of. And like, I want, you know, your final product to be as cl- You have to be open-minded because it never sounds exactly like you, like you hear it in your head, but I want that, yeah, you know, I want you to be proud of what you did and something you can give to someone and be like, I did this, I performed this, this is, you know, this is special, pay attention to this. And I don't think people do that as much anymore. You know, a lot of... <laughs> I, what are you... I technical difficulties? Right now, uh, it's, it's, it's going really bad. He's so boring. 
check get notified videos. when the PLX live is live. Oh, good, because I was just yeah. rambling so, on for a while. Take that's two. weird. That's that was going good. Well, we're uh, still live. It's still live. Uh, <laughs> it's it's going to do that. It might do that. I mean, it's it, but it it'll it should kick back in. Hell, okay. It'll it'll catch up. All right, okay. we're fine. I think we're fine. Whatever. <laughs> It was going good over here. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we need to know that stuff or whatever. I fucked it all up. No, oh, that's all right. <laughs> and so I used it. I use this mic actually quite a bit in the studio. This particular mic. Love it. Yeah. Who's the supplier of the mic? CAD Audio. Cad I don't know the exact um, the exact uh, model number. Of that's it, an M179. M179. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have two of those. Yeah, that thing is awesome. We only have one of Dave's guitar, though. This is a one-off. Play the rebuilding solo. <laughs> How do you? Th I I was never able to do that. How does I mean, you have to sit and practice that? No, that's a okay, just sit down I and do it. Just do it like he's doing. <laughs> and admittedly, I wasn't like a gigantic. You know, a lot of people citing a Pantera influence from Creed right. Diaz, and I know that they were into that style of Southern metal, but, like, I was never into some of that stuff. I kind of was all over the place as a kid. Like, I, I did metal and jazz, and, and I, as far as I listened, like, I, I, I played a lot of metal bands, but, like, everything influenced me. Like, I have, like, I, I didn't like a specific genre, but I like artists. Any artist that just like you know, click is, you know, who I like. So you just took some online courses on how to play <laughs> today. <laughs> can, the Roy Clark uh, guitar book thing with the little stickers on your. I don't know. Yeah. So that easy. It's yeah. YouTube. He took a YouTube. <laughs> YouTube University. YouTube I'll give you guys a little background, something <laughs> or other. Yes. Are we on? Yeah, yeah we're, we're live. Is this thing we're on? Tell us about yeah, your guitars, yeah. Dave. Yeah. So anyway, what is that? Anyway, this is... It looks all beat up. A buddy, a, a buddy of mine custom made I've this for me in his garage. It is a uh, one-off prototype. I always wanted a, um, a Relic Strat, and I liked the Rory Gallagher model that they had. So I was like, hey, make me a seven-string Rory Gallagher Relic Fat Strat. So... That's what I got. That's kick ass, man. So yeah, the dude doesn't even play guitar. Is that Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah his name is Brian Rennick. We actually um we built a shop now and we're gonna start um we're actually in the process of building a couple of prototypes right now. So while I was when I was in Shroom back in the day I had a deal with Ibanez and I What's had, that? Here what? Here or what? Back in Mushroom Head. Oh, I didn't. Sure, I had, I had, a, I had I an endorsement deal with. Uh, I'm kidding. With Ibanez. Yes. So, yeah. So I got some pretty cool custom guitars made, and people ask about those quite a bit. So we're gonna make those because I know I, you know, we didn't sell enough, or I didn't shred enough in that band to get a signature model. So I'm gonna. I'll just make them myself. Do it now, man. Yeah. It's never too late. So yeah, I'm making like a kind of an alternate. Uh, like an alternate, uh, ultimate, Shrek like guitar. signature model for myself. Mm -hmm. I've changed some shit up with the controls and things like that, just to make it more comfortable to play and all that stuff. So, um, so I'm gonna make one of those, and then he's working on. We're kind of interchanging. You know, we're both getting our hands dirty on both sure. of these guitars right. that we're building at the time. But they're the one is gonna be like a, this green and purple one that I had made. From I mean, it's got really big, cool inlays, and uh, which one did you record the bulk of the uh, Creed CD was 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 that the the Ibanez one, the green, green and purple one? No, or was it, I was had it the uh, I had two production models. That right, I, okay. That I used 
mostly that's to right. record the album with. You did use that one a little bit, though, did no. you? No, we can. Well, right here, no, we I can show you this. I have a, I have a picture oh, of fancy. all the amps that, that, that we had. Yeah, so do I. We set it. <laughs> no, I used I used those two guitars. The one that, that that's kind of funny. The one the one guitar that I used, I paid a hundred bucks for. At uh, I was at Guitar Center just. I think I was my one buddy worked there at the time, and I think I went to have lunch with him or something. And I was walking around, and these kids came in with like a Ibanez seven string. And it was missing a bunch of parts and stuff, and they didn't have a case for it. So, and uh, Guitar Center wasn't going to buy it off them because it was missing so much junk. So I just said, "Hey, I'll, I'll give you a hundred bucks." Perfect. And they, yeah, they were all about it, and I got all the missing parts from Ibanez for free. And then a buddy of mine that did work guitar work for me at the time. Made a pick guard for it and did, you know, level the frets out, made it real nice, and it's really an awesome guitar. Well, that Red Sky Morning guitar, that was a two hundred dollar Washburn that I got from Musicians Friend. There you go. And I, I put yeah. Seymour Seymour Duncan's in it and, and had a fret job done to it, and yeah. that thing plays like, I mean, sometimes if you buy a two or three hundred dollar guitar and put two or three hundred dollars into it, it's going to play like a. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can it's gonna that. play it's awesome. Little, so. I know some, some of my yeah, favorite, yeah. some of my favorite ones were like just cheap guitars that I bought used. True. Now, see, I don't and know. A little, I did a little customizing to them. You know, a little bit of modification, and they they come out awesome. I yeah. don't know if we would agree on this, but I would say save your money on the guitar and spend it on the amp. And really? Because like, because you can turn a sweet guitar into a, you know awesome instrument but like an amplifier you have to like like you have that's your tone that's your sound too and you have to True. you know be before that when you get your guitar set well you can have a really great amp too but if you don't know how to EQ no you're right, set, you're right you're right you know you're right there's you're a right. lot of little but there's it, a million it, little variables the music sure. thing is ridiculous if I could go back in time I would kick myself in the balls and say, did he just say fix balls? cars or something, dumbass. Don't get into this music thing. It's well, ridiculous. but you don't regret it. Huh? Well, you, don't, you don't regret it. You just, no, I don't. But, but it's at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm not making any money. Neither am I. Nobody is. <laughs> no one. Right now, we're not making anything right now. Look, here, I'm a... Dave, maybe you need a pretzel. <laughs> I do. These pretzel people are making you buy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so just, we still we have food. We're not making any money, but at least we're eating. So the music thing is crazy because it's like it's either really satisfying or really not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. The the in between is there, like there is no in between, yeah. and sometimes it's always like a big like some seem some so scenes like, smaller. Well, some scenes have become yeah. just so competitive. It's like a really hot drunk girlfriend. It's. How do you figure that? Nailed it. It's like man, look at her. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, Drunk. babysit. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you got going on currently? Building guitars and stuff. Do you yeah, the like, shop music, is music music wise, what are you what are you doing right now? You guys work on new Crea Diaz, are you working on there's, new Well, Crea? there's a ton of new material. We just haven't had a chance really to work on a lot of it because the one guy had like some crazy personal stuff going on with his job. So we just we haven't really had the time. You know, but right. I think that's all pretty much resolved, and um, he's out of town right now for a couple of weeks. And when he gets back, I think we're gonna get to it. But I mean, there's I got a ton of material. Like the, there's a bunch of you know skeletons of tunes start right. to finish, and yeah. then there's a bunch more just riff ideas and stuff like that. I'll, I'll tell you that like the first time I met you guys was at SIT. To come the photo shoot, shoot, yeah. shoot yeah. photos, you yeah. guys, or whatever, and then Brian Tremblay hooked me up with your the CD prior to that or whatever, and I listened to it. I'm like, oh my god! I mean, I dig the music first, and then, like, like you know, you your love for his sound and and creativity and the way what Joe's got going on in his head, whatever. It just sound it, it sounded everything about it. Sounds it. different I, than your average. Like metal record today. Yes. I mean, really, yeah. Yes. But that's the and one thing. We were. Kind it's, a, of, it's a bit of a mo vintage kind of the modern goal. throwback in the recording process. Because yep. I, I, like post mastering, I kind of pushed to ha do this one thing that he really kind of wasn't like, I don't see how that's going to work. But it's kind of the difference between it sounding like kind of cheap mm -hmm. and sounding like 
almost in the realm of like like professional high you know big budget stuff right kind of kind of kind of that's what I mean it's like kind of. it's like this close I, I don't know if I would use the word cheap I would use the word budget well yeah you know what I mean I'm no, not, no, no, no. Well, we, well, it's it, see what we did was we took we took the, there's 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 a lot of studio techniques that are that are just nutty, and and this one so. involved taking the digital sound that we because we did record it on digital and uh, correct we yeah. are, are we running out of time yeah. no 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 what are you no, looking no, at no, no. who's no at there's the, the, somebody I'm looking no at no no oh, oh, we're good we're I'm keep looking going, at the man. internet Just keep going it's all good stuff, <laughs> <laughs> all good stuff. <laughs> another big hand for the studio audience <laughs> woo. <laughs> So no, um, <laughs> yeah, we're just we're about four minutes. We're we'll wrap well, it up in about four minutes, but that's okay. well, no. So, so the long and short of it is, you know, it was recorded digitally, but we took the digital mix, the final mix, and to a studio with a friend of mine, Gavin Murphy. Um, I'm not sure if he's working for that studio anymore. I think he was just like a freelancer who was kind of there at the time. And we used, um, th we ran the mix through a like a line mixer is that what it was kind of or a preamp or I don't even know exactly what it was but we ran it through an outboard piece of gear and the idea was to it's modeled after, color the it's sound moder it's bit. modeled after channels from like these million dollar boards w were there tubes like, in it like that sounds I don't remember were there so sound city I don't know okay that sound city board yeah. is called a neve Right. And then another big, yeah. big SSL. I think this was the an SSL. SSL, yeah. And I can't remember which one we used, but yeah. we had our choice of running through these mixers, which is the, basically the same circuitry as those big boards. Right. And this is all so, tech garble. So yeah, this, sure, sure. In an attempt yeah. to keep it in a semi interesting story, we, we just. <laughs> so, I mean, we had to do it twice because what did we. What did we <laughs> Jeff's digging it. We no, had we, to fix it. We something. mastered it twice. Because but what we had. We ran no, we, it through, and then we went up to that studio, and then we had to fix something on it. What was that that we had to fix? Was well, that we had a high end issue with the right, symbols. With, right, and I fixed the. So drum. we had to yeah. go back it was into my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to go back into mix and mix out a bunch of high end, and then remaster it, and then do yeah. that. So it was a little bit blue to go. This next one won't be, you know, it was a the the tracking process was very organic, and like the performance, like we we had the an amplifier. I didn't even know how to reamp at the time, which is where you take the guitar signal and send it through any other amplifier post recording so you record the guitar dry and then then make your sound later mm -hmm. what we actually had his amp up up and on the whole time so however many hours he was there you know my dad's sleeping and just the house is rattling for, and this was and then he <laughs> would dad sleep and then he would no no and then, oh, okay. and then he would go on the road for a couple of weeks and i would have to i just left the, the, the some of the stuff there like in the exact because he had another rig that he took with him so it was just like it, it took up a quarter of my house for like two months or something but it, it was it, it was worth it and and we're, we're gonna i mean the you know all the stuff that i learned like i said from that and experimenting from that is hopefully going to be applied with this next one and I really want to make this next one sound freaking awesome like I'm even sure oh yeah I'm sure it'll be, be it'll yeah. be better because the, yeah. the, no, first, the first one one's great yes, but yes. still it's, maintaining that raw yeah. kind of unpolished but still well, presentable we left a lot of like there's you know we didn't clean certain oh, things yeah, up yeah. there's a lot of little mistakes that you have, a, you have a CD with you don't you yeah. huh? you have a CD with you oh yeah. yeah just yeah. hold that up that's this is the uh yeah, yeah I mean, you can totally see. Yeah, it. you're good. This is the uh, the uh, pavement records version. We did get a deal, and they re-released re it with a different cover than what we put it out with. So there's that's that. Nice. There is up. a limited edition. Hit me, that, hit me uh, up on there, Facebook. Is there any yeah. limited edition copies left, or are they all limited yeah, edition? Yeah. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> No, there's still there's still a bunch left of the ones we released, but yeah. not really allowed to sell those. Oh, I didn't know. That. So, weird. anyway, well, thanks guys. I mean, I think yeah, I man. think I, I'm looking thanks forward for to us. the next yeah. the next one. Absolutely. Yeah. Joe, yeah, make sure you're all uh, going to be quizzed on the technical studio. Yeah, so nerds. Yeah, got it nailed. What line yeah. mixer did we use to re to to redo the to remaster the Creed Is album? Right. That's what hey, it is. Dimebag, we didn't really even say it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm out. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll put links to all their stuff up too. If it, if it's not already, we'll link you up to their Facebook pages, official websites, whatever you know. Dave's stuff, Creed Is stuff, Joe's stuff. 
Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't even touch him. Talk about that or whatever. Well, you that's not what I'm here for. Well, that's okay. I'm Joe's got a solo stuff. A bunch guys, of solo but... stuff coming out. So he'll come back. <laughs> Joe, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play acoustic show at Howie. Hopefully, yeah. Sweet. I'm hoping to That'd do that cool. this summer or fall. You know. Rob, you want to come back up here and yeah, shoot the sure. boot for a second? I will get out of the way. I'll wind this down. Yeah, wind it down. Dave, keep sitting. Yes. Dave's gonna take us out. Oh, in the head. Oh, shit. Oh, my okay. God. Are you all right? Yes. Yeah, so, what? Just a flesh wound. We got Dave Felton right. filming with us on the outro. Dude, that is awesome. Cool. I love it. Take us home. <laughs> um, what does that mean, play us out? <laughs> <laughs> I am played out. Okay. So, Do it live. you know, this is a great show. Very thankful for Howie's coming down. Eric, Claudia, and Patrick. Hey, right Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Patrick. Patrick. I said Patrick. Slang oh, I didn't hear that. Slang number one fan, Jin. Yeah. Yoga Jin. Yes. Back this week. Yes. Nice. Jessica on the sound effects. Thank you very much. Jeff, Jeff our man off stage. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Live. There was. We, we couldn't hear him. I mean, I just, just want to mention and uh, reiterate again next month. Yes. Oh, that the the Howies. Yes. I know. I didn't. I didn't remember what month it was. On the same day as the, the polar bear jump, which is the 18th, at the state park, as well as uh, St. Practice Day that, at Howies. That. Good time. I might have been there. I don't remember. Um, and our favorite band, one of our favorite bands, Interwoven, will be playing. Yeah. Featuring Jeff Meehan. Tim Durr, and a bunch of other hosts. <laughs> yes. Wine and a big mug. Yes. Goes wrong every time. <laughs> We'd also like to do a nice shout out to our friend. Oh! Yes, our oh, yeah. friend at Bueller's, Andy. Andy, Andy. Who is Andy. our wine guy <laughs> at Bueller's? It's like our yes. go-to. He is. The naughty vibe really is awesome, and we it, love oh, it's that. Beautiful. Their wines love are great. Love the atmosphere. It's all good. Sometimes you just need to go to the grocery store and get a bottle of wine. And, Andy, <laughs> and it is. There's Andy. You know. So. <laughs> and we still got Dave Gravy Felton playing us out. Nice. This is kick ass. Nice. Right here. So, this is like the best show. Well, I don't know. I, they're all the, they're all great. I think. Yes. I like, We're having a good time doing this. I hope everyone is having a good time watching us. Who does watch this? And uh, we hope to expand it uh, to live shows on the road. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go mobile. <laughs> we'll go mobile. Yeah. <laughs> mobile. Um, yep. And uh, next week, we'll be here again. Do we have a next week? We don't, we don't even know yet, do we? We do not know where we will be next we week. We need a musical guest and a local business for next week. Yes. Maybe, uh, so please. Okay. Yeah. There's Joe, some. you want to come on next food. week? As long as he brings food, we're good. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm hungry right now. Um, we're going all over. We're, we're pretzels all over aren't doing it. <laughs> They're like chocolate. They are good. Hey, I, did, I got what? a little hint of chocolate on that one. I can probably do something next week. That was okay. in a martini. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. So Joe's coming back next week. Nice. Wow. All right. So uh, we got one. We need a local business. <laughs> we need a business. We need a band. Um, or Ooh. individual. Mucky Duck. Mucky okay. Duck Company, yeah. Mucky Duck, Naughty Vine, throwing it out there to you guys. All right? Come on. Carl, that's, make it happen. <laughs> we're doing this, <laughs> we're doing this for the Portage Lakes. Yeah, okay? that's why This we're is here. for the Portage Lakes. It's not for us. My a little bit. But sister, it's for the Portage Lakes. My sister wants to oh, what she do want? a live show from her house. <laughs> In the hot tub? Yes. She has a hot tub. <laughs> she has a hot tub? <laughs> Yes. I don't know. <laughs> live show from her sister's house. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take us out here. We'll let Dave take us Dave, out. Dave, take us home. That's Black Sabbath, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Joel, don't touch that. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting ready. <laughs> oh. No. I'll turn it up. Hey, you do need to turn it up. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up, dude. Well, you guys were talking. I didn't well, turn it up now. We're not talking. <laughs> there we go. Hey, now we're a little hot. Good thing we have 90 minutes on this thing, right? Sweet. Seven, not six, but seven. Right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was awesome, dude. Heavy metal. Yes, oh, yeah. That's sweet. All right. And, and we're, we're out. Out.